My name is Allison Swan, and I am the author of a new book of poems, A Fine Canopy, which um, Wayne State University Press published as part of their Made in Michigan Writer Series. Many people know me because of my environmental activism, which was launched in 2001 when Sagatuck Dune State Park was threatened with a water intake and treatment facility. And writing is one of the things that helps me to stay grounded and to stay motivated and to stay feeling um, connected to the earth. So every poem in this book, which is 80 some pages long, um, has a different inspiration, but a huge source of inspiration are Michigan's two peninsulas and the Great Lakes and especially Lake Michigan and Lake Superior. There's no way this book would exist without Michigan. And I think of places as land. I relate to places as land, as in land community, the way Leopold talks about it. We could open up the book to any page and we could talk about what part of one of Michigan's peninsulas or what lake was part of its genesis. One thing I've learned is that I don't find it easy to talk about my relationship with Michigan outside of writing poems. So I hope that the poems will communicate what I've learned. What art does for all of us is connects us with our humanity. And um, in a way that politics and activism don't necessarily, but art is made by humans. And um, every piece of art, and I consider poems to be art, every, every piece of art has the potential if we allow it to re-engage with our humanity, which means it helps us re-engage with, with one another. When we wake up in the, each one of us, we wake up in the morning and we think activism, art, <laughs> you know, writing, making phone calls, it, because there are so many things demanding our attention right now. So I think one of the things Dave and I will probably end up talking about is the way in which, how does a book like A Fine Canopy happen and why does a book like a, a, a Fine Canopy happen in a world in which it feels like we maybe all should just be focused every single day on changing the policy that has allowed this mess to happen?